previously. Happy birthday! Yay! My birthday is just to celebrate being alive. This hotel, for whatever reason, blinds on the bathroom. It was it, crazy. It's what's happening in San Diego? So the next day we head over to the zoo. We check out the whole array of animals, cervix. Serval. We are officially lost. I think we found it. Maybe my spirit animals and Mr. Kitty all along. Oh, and we're recording. Hey guys, what is up? There's a first for everything. First for everything in your life. Your first Christmas, your first date, the first time you get to go on set and hang out with your boyfriend while he's filming a bunch of cool sketches. Is it bring your boo to work day or something? No, that's not a thing. It is today. So you guys ask all the time how come Kelly is not in any of the sketches, although she's in the vlogs and all that, and some of you even think that I'm being mean by not letting her in it, and, and that's no. just not the case. Yeah, no, they, 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 I see a comment or two. Lately, she has inquired about coming on set and hanging out. So we had to get up early in the morning. We rented an Airbnb, because we always film in Airbnbs, because, you know, remember my place burned down. It was cool having her on set. First of all, because it's just cool having her around. She's great. <laughs> she's great. They're all thinking it. She got to help me put on all that makeup. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I always have to sing this to him when I put on his makeup. Oh, wait till I put it helps him get into character. The character I was playing this time, you've seen him before. He's this thug and he's very polite. He's almost so polite that he gets in his own way of being as thuggish as he would like to be. For this guy, you know, I gotta put on makeup. He has like these fake tattoo things that I wear. He's a little confused on his tattoo design though, because here he's got more tribal and then here he's got more classic, so he, what's... He's trying to keep up with the trends. He's got these fake gold teeth, makes my lip protrude and all that stuff. He's very, very polite. <laughs> I don't polite. know how you're wrapping those teeth, by the way. I'm... It's... Gangster as fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I'm, yeah, like... Okay. He's got gold in his teeth and in his heart. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Kelly is not an actress. I'm not an actress. She doesn't want to be an actress. If there's one thing that really reminded me that I am not an actress, it's when I was asked to play a believable gangster. I was like, let me get together my most gangster outfit, which is just a black t-shirt and uh, a Slytherin beanie. I was like, I'll just be somewhere in the background, kind of walking around. I know, I'm like, I'm right there. It's just like, this is so out of character for me. <laughs> and meanwhile, Maggie, she goes into the next room and changes into her hip hop outfit and she comes out a different person. I'm like, oh, they are bringing it. She's Cardi B now, <laughs> walking out like that. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm, st I'm still me. So then we got to do the next sketch, which is another character based one. And the character is called the Freshman Philosopher. And he's this kind of dark and brooding, half-assed philosopher who's just very, very, very negative. That's my definition of Freshman Philosopher. Thinks anything that's negative is profound. It's just like, all right. In the grand scale of the universe, it's fairly insignificant. He was so much fun to write for because he, he just, you know, he got to trash sports. Yeah. There's just something satisfying about trashing something that people love. And again, it was good that Kelly was there because she got to put on the guy liner that the freshman philosopher gets to wear. I only date a guy with guy liner. Of course. But you got to dress as a, as a sports fan in this one. This looks like I've seen at least one baseball game in my life. Yeah, I mean, but I know you and I know you've never seen any of that stuff, so. <laughs> Not, not an actor, okay? Not an actor. I was like, yeah, we're turning the TV. I what? I like stood up and I'm like, wait, wait, that's what you do at a game, not watching TV. But you got to do some acting. You got to like stand up uh, and cheer. And yeah. No, I had one believable line, something I'd actually say in real life. Ooh, SpongeBob? And of course it was cut. Because Ray actually improvised a line, mm -hmm. which was, I think, the best line of the whole skit, which ended up being the ending that you guys saw. It had an alternative ending. Well, but you did get a line, though. I got my first line. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, yes. I was yeah. a, a very upset that he was criticizing sports. What you, bro? Yeah, this game is big. Yeah! yeah. I was so proud. I was such a proud parent. <laughs> She said it, oh my gosh. Now, I did not expect a line. I thought I was just, again, gonna be a background person. Uh, and then like they threw me a line and I was like, oh my God, I gotta be angry, Kelly. No, I think you made a more believable sports fan than you did a gangster. I did? I will say that, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank God for that. I had so much fun. They were a lot of fun. The shoots are fun. Your friends are fun. Yeah, my friends are fun. Your actors are fun. My actors, yeah. I love hanging out with creative people, but when you are hanging out with creative people and they're in their element, 
I mean, when you get to be around actors acting, it's your, everybody's on a high because they're truly getting to do what they love to do and you get to just see the, the creativity come out. And whenever there's a creative flow like that, it's like there's so much positive energy and everybody's just bopping around. You know what I love? What? It's not, I live with you. It's like I got to see the sketch, like the conception of it when he's writing it out, hand writing it. By the way, a little tidbit. Yes, so seeing I hand write, conception yes. to given birth to it. I don't think you like this this metaphor here. Um, but no, watching him act it out and then eventually, of course, getting to see the release of the of the skit. And um, one more thing I wanted to show you guys because you asked me quite a bit about what we use to film. Um, so some of these sketches, I try to keep them as like low maintenance, low budget as possible. We have one camera with one shotgun mic and one china ball and that's it. There's no other sound equipment. There's no other camera equipment. I mean, m maybe we'll have a tripod sometimes, but that's it, so that we can shoot as many as we can in a day. We should generally shoot three or four in a day, in a half day, actually, and then we get the hell out. Good time. Well, a lot of people ask about, you know, the technical side of it, and I just thought that would be a good time to address it. So before we go, one more quick announcement. Six years ago, I, uh, I tweeted something on the first of the month. I tweeted, your rent is due. It was just like a little silly reminder. There's really nothing special to it. It was just that one sentence, your rent is due. And it got such a reaction that the next month, on the first, I tweeted it again. It got, an it got a another big reaction. And I did that for so many months, and then I started adding pictures to the tweets, like pictures of me holding up, you know, a piece of paper that says your rent is due or a sign. And then as time went on, I would get more and more creative with the posts. I would dress up as things, and I would, you know, hold up bigger signs and decorate and all that stuff, and it became kind of a cool tradition of your rent is due. And a lot of people were like, you know, they loved it and they were, because it was fun and creative and they were like, thank you so much because it reminded me to pay my rent and a lot of people would get upset at it and be like, I don't understand what this means, you're such a moron. Um, because they were reading into it too much. Or like, this is the dumbest joke ever, there's no punchline. Like, well, it really wasn't a joke. <laughs> It was just a creative reminder. That's really all it was meant to be. You mean people on the internet are angry? Yeah, you know, sometimes, believe it or not. Believe it or not, they're, they're not the most pleasant people on the internet. In real life, they're great. It's been six years. I decided to retire the monthly your rent is due reminder. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll move on and do something else creative with that time. But I don't know, I figured it was, I figured it was time. In memoriam. In memoriam. So I posted my last picture on Instagram and it just said your rent is no longer due and uh, got a lot of nice messages about it and stuff and a lot of hate messages, which, you know, comes with the territory. But I thought I would let you guys know kind of the history of, of where that came from, how it started and why I've been keeping it up. I loved them because we got to do a lot of those together for a lot of last year. We had some really amazing ones. I think my favorite ever was the Fred Flintstone one where he spells it out in Fruity Pebble. <laughs> oh, it was so good. I like the one with the big cake. Oh my gosh, the cake one. That was great. Megan made me that cake. That she, was great. He had to hold that huge cake, you guys. That was great. The hopscotch one. Okay. Where we, we wrote it out in chalk. Yeah. That took forever. The hardest one ever was the squirrel one where we wrote it out in peanuts and then we had to wait for a squirrel to come and grab a nut. Yeah, that was the by far the toughest one. <laughs> and then we're, we're looking at each other like, how long are we gonna keep this going? I like the New Year's Eve one. It was very <gasps> simple. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. It was the very simple. We were walking in together. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. It was great. That was the first one I did with you. Yeah, it was great. Anyway, rest in peace. Uh, your monthly reminder of your rent is due. I uh, will come up with something else and it'll stick and it'll be fun. And we'll put that creative energy into other things which I'll show you what some of that stuff is in the next vlog. I would love to know from you guys, which was your favorite your rent is due picture? They've got so creative and there were just so many of them. All right guys, we'll, uh, we'll see you next Sunday.